A very good morning. Coming up in the news this hour, the government of Uganda has sent more soldiers in Somalia. And are you among the people who announced the Speaker Right Honorable Jacob Olanya dead? Anytime now, you're going to be arrested. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also make sure that you tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the government of Uganda, through the minister of ICT, that is Chris Bariomosi, has revealed that they are looking for all the people behind the death rumors of Right Honorable Jacob Olanya. Now, the death rumors of uh, Jacob Olanya started such letting after Wikipedia published that uh, the speaker had died. And now, uh, Bariomosi has confirmed that uh, they are looking for the people who first declared that the big man was dead. But other people have suggested that uh, instead of arresting innocent Ugandans, it's better you look out for the hackers of uh, Jacob Olanya's Wikipedia because that is where everything started from. And by the way, other people are still demanding for proof confirming that um, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya is still alive. I have seen people like um, Kasuku and other people on social media. They are saying that uh, instead of uh, threatening, you know, that you're going to arrest us, why don't you show us the picture of the big man on the hospital bed so that you can erase all these death rumors that are circulating on social media? Anyway, in other news related to that story, uh, finally, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, that is uh, Anita Monk, has also spoken about the health condition of uh, the Speaker of Parliament, that is uh, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya. Uh, yesterday, the President of DP, that is uh, Nobat Mao, said Anita Monk will issue an official statement about his health and finally, the official statement is out. Actually, Anita Monk says that um, the Speaker Jacob Olanya is still receiving medication and uh, we need to thank God because he's responding to treatment under the close attention of his doctors. But also she called upon all Ugandans to respect his privacy and that of his family. Yes, so that is what is coming from uh, the speaker's camp. Now, in other news, Uganda has sent more UPDF soldiers in Somalia to fight the Al-Shabaab militants. And actually, these soldiers left yesterday to Somalia. And uh, the CDF, that is uh, the Chief of Defense Forces, Wilson Badi, in his communication to these soldiers at the send of ceremony in Nakaseke district, he requested them to do the right job in Somalia. Uh, he also cautioned these soldiers about the beautiful women in Somalia. Otherwise, if they don't take care of themselves, then they might contract HIV. Uh, we all know that uh, Somalia is one of the uh, countries right here on this African continent that has beautiful women. So uh, he cautioned them that when you get there, make sure that you concentrate on your job, not concentrating on the women that are in Somalia. Uh, it should also be remembered that Uganda has over 6,000 soldiers in Somalia and uh, these guys are all under United Nations but of course are supported by AMISOM, that is our African mission in Somalia. Yeah, so that is the latest right here on the Buzz UG. And of course, uh, I am following up on everything. I will keep you posted. Uh, what you have to do is uh, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also make sure that you tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.